your aquarium. Today I have a quick story that I need to share with you. Uh, I am still very much so recovering from my back surgery, which happened uh, about 36 hours ago. But this was just too important not to make a quick video about it and to hopefully get it out there. I hope other channels publicize this and I hope we can really get these resources out to other Aquarists. Because what's going on is a bill passed in the House called the Competes Act, or C-O-M-P-E-T-E-S Act, H-R, or House Bill 4521, and I'll put the information in the links below, but essentially what it's going to do is it's going to outlaw any fish that hasn't been scientifically studied for its impact in a place, in a state, any state. So it has to be federally recognized in order to bring it in. So any new species, any species like the L number plecos that don't have Latin names, or the apistos, or the cichlids, or tetras, you name it, that don't have a description, they're for sure going to be banned. Now, beyond that, even if you have them in the States, they're considered potentially injurious to the environment and to humans, uh, as well as, you know, disease and other things. And they're just basically blanket banning all animals, whether it's a rhinoceros down to a rasbora, uh, unless it has been imported, cleared environmentally, cleared for health uh, of humans, and then also cleared... Um, for the, uh, the um, bigger picture as far as economics and if it's viable and all this other stuff um, that is open to interpretation. We don't really know how far they will take it, but we do know that in some places they've already instigated this uh, type thing, like Winnipeg, Canada, they made it illegal to have you know everything from um, boxers and pit bulls to snakes and uh, exotic fish. So it's something that's been bubbling up, especially Texas and Florida, which is really the deep south Gulf Coast states are the only states that can support most of these fish if they were to get out. And we're talking about ornamental fish. We're talking about the fish that go in aquariums. And it's not just monster fish. It's not just the fish that can survive in cold water. I mean, if there hasn't been a study done on, for instance, whip-tailed lizard cats, which there hasn't been... Uh, those could easily be added to the blacklist. And it's looking like that could be several thousand species of freshwater fish, uh, especially the ones that are just not yet studied. If they don't have a Latin name, they definitely haven't been studied as their impact in society. So I really urge all of you guys to get involved. See what your local House representatives uh, voted. And it was a very close call in the House and that's your local district representatives. But what's more important now is that the Senate is going to be voting on it. And so you need to write your state senators and tell them, please amend this bill. It's like a 2,000-page bill. But the aquarium hobby is being limited hugely by this. And it will actually probably close a number of uh, businesses, local fish stores, and online sites. Um, any fish without that ecological risk study... Uh, and a lot of those in the hobby just haven't had it done because there isn't the funding, there aren't the scientists there, and unless it's already posed a problem, it just doesn't get done a lot of times. Uh, it's a problem somewhere in the world. So please look up your senator down below and tell them to at least alter that part of the bill and how important it is to you, um, or at least reword it to some way that seems more realistic. To find your state senator, please contact them through the information below. I've got links to uh, www.senate.gov. Senators, it's a list of all your senators. You can search by state. And then let them know that you don't agree with the new amendment, as basically it creates a white list of approved species that can be imported, whereas any animal on that list, it flips everything on its head, cannot be imported. So maybe neon tetras, angelfish, maybe those have enough info, but who knows about Kubota rasboras, CPDs, none of those have had uh, environmental studies done on them. And so it's all um, a change to the Lacey Act uh, shipment clause uh, to ban interstate transport of species listed as injurious or able to establish uh, new emergency powers by the Fish and Wildlife uh, Service. So 
for this emergency declaration that they've slipped into a bill. Uh, it's it's just very vague, and uh, right now it's going to be federal. And unless your your white list gets approved in the next sixty days, uh, after that you'll basically be stuck without these until that work has been done to clear them, and that can take thousands and thousands of dollars. So please, please, if this is something that interests you, read up on it. You don't have to trust me. I would just say please read up on the implications, the ramifications of this bill. It is a big, big news, and, you know, it's it's scary, and it's yet again being called the Competes, or C-O-M-P-E-T-E-S Act, H.R. 4521, and you need to contact senators. That's who votes on it next. If they pass this, uh, now that the House has already passed it, this will go into effect, and it's it's not necessarily a partisan uh, thing. It is happening on both sides of the aisle, so please check your state, and also, um, you know, you can even contact your local fisheries department or the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Department, department and um, your local fish stores. I mean, spread the news around, please. This is critical, critical stuff, especially because there's things like goodyhead species in Mexico that we're literally reintroducing into the wild. And the only reason we can do that is because hobbyists had them in their private stock after they went extinct. Under this regulation, it's obvious, it's innocent until proven guilty in the U.S. Well, not under this. It's guilty until proven innocent with these fish. And there's just too many fish too little funding. So unless they can change that, it needs to be the other way around, where they list what can't come in and not what can come in. There are 32,000 freshwater species alone, and this is freshwater, saltwater, reptiles, and exotic mammals. And they really overreach by assuming people were thinking of monkeys and tigers and lions and bears, oh my, and not tetras and other things like, you know, catfish. So please, please contact your local senator.